Hi everybody, my name is Kelvin and I'm the founder and executive director of the Listening Lab Group. This video is part of a series of video tutorials that teaches users how to maintain and troubleshoot their hearing aids, cochlear implant speech processors or sound processors in the comfort of their own home. Today's episode will be a simple guide to do a listening check and troubleshooting guide on their advanced bionics speech processor. Now if you can do these well, then it saves you a trip of coming to our centres to find out what's wrong. So if you have your speech processors or sound processors ready, then let's begin. To do a listening check, you'll need the listening check itself, the processor with the headpiece, as well as a standard 3.5mm jack for you as the troubleshooter to find out if the processor is working correctly. To begin the listening check, first, remove the battery from the processor. Now open the listening check by pulling the plastic cover away from the module. Rotate and insert the module sideways, you should feel the two portions stack into place. Once in place, the processor and the battery connectors will be exposed. Now connect the top of the listening check to your processor and the bottom to your battery. Now plug the earbuds into the 3.5mm auxiliary jack onto the side of the listening check. Remember that this listening check requires a charged battery to function correctly. So remember to have a charged battery before you do this listening check or else you will not be able to complete the check. The processor automatically enters the listening check mode once the listening check is attached. From now, you'll be able to hear auditory input from your processor. Now, if you find the sound still intermittent, then we should be doing some troubleshooting immediately after this. When it comes to troubleshooting, it's best to look at the components one by one, starting with the headpiece, the cable, and the battery. With the headpiece, people often make the mistake of not connecting the headpiece to the user's implant and that results always in a flashing red light as you can see here. Now, if you have connected the headpiece to the implant and the light still flashes, that's when we look at the next component of the troubleshooting, which is the cable. The cable can often be a reason why the implants do not work and here we have a faulty cable. And how do you tell physically if a cable is faulty? Sometimes there is a clean break in the wire. Sometimes the copper wire frays out of the insulation at the hinges. And sometimes there could be a broken pin in the socket or corrosion in the socket. All these could be reasons why the processor does not function well. To ensure that you have a working cable, replace this faulty cable with a functioning cable and see if the light goes away. Lastly, when it comes to the battery. When it comes to troubleshooting your battery, always make sure you have a fully charged battery. How can you tell? First of all, remove the battery. Put it back in and look at the light straight away. Multiple flashes of amber light tells you that you have at least a 50% battery. If you have a single flashing amber light, that means your battery is about to be depleted. If there is no light flashing, that means that the battery is not working. Let's put in a depleted battery and you will see that then there is no light flashing. Now once you have done all these checks, it is now time to do another listening check. Now if you still hear intermittent sounds with your listening check after the troubleshooting is done, it's time to contact your listening lab audiologist for a further consultation. We hope that the troubleshooting guide has been very useful for you. However, if after you've taken the steps and your processor is still not working properly, it's time to contact your listening lab audiologist for further consultation. In this period of time, we are an essential service that remains open. So contact us at our contact details and we will get in touch with you shortly. In the meantime, for as far as possible, stay home, stay safe and see you soon.